The lecture titled The Global Energy Transition and the Imperatives for Nigeria was delivered by Mr. Osage Okumbo, Country Chair Shell Companies in Nigeria and Managing Director, the Shell Petroleum Development Company of Nigeria Limited. Mr. Okumbo explained that the ongoing energy transition will involve multiple approaches and collective action as they will certainly present new challenges and opportunities. He, however, added that Nigeria is well positioned for the challenges ahead but must work hard for it. We are a gas rich country, we are an energy rich country, we are a fossil fuel rich country, so we need to exploit what we have for the benefit of our development and keep an eye open that we are transiting, the world is transiting, and we want to be able to get to that point where, come 2050, 2060, we are where the rest of the world is. I'm very confident that with the concerted efforts of all of us players in this industry, we can meet that goal. In an address, the Vice Chancellor, University of Benin, Professor Lilian Salami, said, as an alumnus, Mr. Osage Okumbo has proven himself a worthy ambassador of the university. We are grateful to God Almighty that has, with his mighty hand, preserved the University of Benin and the staff as well as students in these past 51 years. He has used men and women of great repute to pilot the affairs and also serve the cause and objective of this great institution. The coordinator, Foundation Year student of 1970, said Dr. Dominic Ukpong took the guest down memory lane on how the university started. In a remark, the Chancellor, His Royal Majesty, Professor James Otese Ayase, tore Tiv, have on need for all hands to be on deck to move the university forward. This university has grown wonderfully and has carved a niche for itself nationally and internationally. My prayer is that that good success story Continue. Cultural performance by the students added color to the ceremony. Earlier, there was an interdenominational service where the Catholic priest of St. Albert Catholic Church, Reverend Father Andrew Obiyan, dwelt on the rejected stone that became a cornerstone. Reverend Father Obiyan charged members of the university community on the need to do all things right. I all of us today, no other stone, no other thing can take the place of God. Whether we talk about it or not, whether we neglect him or not, even if our lips are weary and we can no longer praise him, he is a stone rejected by the builders that has become the cornerstone. The ceremony was attended by several dignitaries from within and outside the university community, including religious leaders from both Christian and Muslim circles. <laughs> Pius Nsoro reporting. <laughs>